If you're gonna drive the coolest truck on the road, then you need the coolest grill on the road. This C9 caliber grill is gonna get you just where you need to be. It's super easy to install. There's only four bolts that you're gonna have to take out and they have a star head. So if you look around in your toolbox, it should be very easy to find. This is our factory grill from Sport Chassis. It looks really sharp, but the C9 is just gonna take this truck to a whole new level. Once you remove the factory grill, you're gonna to have to remove four metal nuts that are connected to rubber on the actual hood itself. What I found was the easiest was to actually break off the metal part of the nut and then pull the rubber stopper from the outside of the hood. The instructions say to go from the inside of the hood and stand on the inside and pull it out and so such. I tried it both ways and as always, the instructions were right. So go through the inside of the hood, grab a normal pair of pliers, break that off, go to the outside of the hood, pull that rubber out and it's really easy there's only four of them and it'll take you no time at all. If you've been wondering why I haven't been posting as many videos, there is a reason. I have been posting videos, but they're in a new place. So what I need you to do right now is go to Wade's RV, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and I have tons of new content. So I've been doing reviews on sport chassis, of course. I've been doing it on motorhomes, travel trailers, and I've been able to take over a radio show here locally called Camping with Wade's RV. So that premieres every Saturday, and I post those usually on Monday or Tuesday. So Go to Wade's RV, like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys there. So this next step, if you're doing it by yourself, can be a little tricky, but if you use your mind, it's not gonna be any problem at all. So you have four bolts that are actually on your C9 caliber grill, and if you put it on here, it's not gonna exactly sit 100% straight. So what I did to make installation a little bit easier was I went ahead and inserted these two bottom bolts, and then I'm gonna go in from the wheel wells and put on the washers, which there's a metal one and also a rubber one to make sure the vibrations don't get too much and scratch up that hood. But with that, I'm gonna go in through the wheel wells, tighten those up by hand, and then whenever I do that, pop this hood open again and then tighten the top nuts as well. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this uh, passenger side is a little bit more difficult. There's a rubber um, kind of protector on the side of the radiator that I'm having to work around. So it's taking me a little bit longer, but I will get her done. <laughs> I ended up doing to make it a little bit quicker was I ended up popping the hood and holding the grill with one hand, working myself around the hood with my other hand, getting it started, and then I'm gonna go ahead, pop the hood again, use my little impact, get those tightened up, squared away, and then see how to attack the top bolts. Make sure you always have a deep socket. I had to make a quick run back to the shop, so half inch and you're good to go. Once you get those four bolts installed, it's gonna be very simple. You're only gonna have three bolts left. Um, and with that, they're not gonna be necessarily bolts. You're just gonna loosen the nut and then move the tab over. And that's gonna release any bit of play that you have left in the grill. So it's gonna be very, very firm and very secure. And your C9 caliber grill is gonna be ready to go. And you're gonna have the coolest sport chassis in town. Now that we got our caliber C9 grill installed, there's only one thing left to do. And that's installed the secondary piece, which is gonna go right below this first one and just really help complete the look. If you are interested in one of these really awesome grills, look up their website. It's gonna be caliber9.com or you can always send me a message and then I'll send you a link and get you taken care of. That's why you got the sport chassis guy. Thank you for tuning in. And I have no idea how to install this, so I'm gonna check out the instructions and hopefully it goes smooth. If you're interested in one of these trucks, make sure to check out my link below. I'm gonna have a link to the Wade's RV page and it's gonna have all of my current inventory of sport chassis. If you are interested in a different make or a different model or different color, whatever it might be, make sure to send me a message because I have access to every single one. At Wade's RV, we'll get you taken care of. We're the full service dealership of Oklahoma and we have the most exclusive brands. I have over 26 of the best brands out there and that's including Newmar, Evoke, Aspen Trail, Catalina and so many more. Make sure to like and subscribe to Wade's RV. That's where I'm going to have all of the information on Sport Chassis, also other RVs and lots more videos you don't want to miss. So when you pick up the lower section of the grill, you're gonna notice there's a whole bunch of these black bars followed with a washer and then a nut on top. What you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and remove all of those, put them in a nice neat pile so you don't lose any of the pieces and then installation is gonna be a breeze. 
Then take one of your steel bars and put it on the back side connected to two of those bolts. It'll slide on really nice and easy. After you do that, take your washers and place them behind your steel plate. And what I would do is not go ahead and put the secondary washer on because it'll probably fall off. Go ahead and tighten your nut that's going to be on your very lower. That way it's held in place and you're not going to lose any pieces. Make sure to go check out Caliber C9 Grills. They make grills for your F-150, for your Jeep, your FJ, Freightliners, just about everything out there. So make sure to check them out and tell them Willie D sent you. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe to Wade's RV. We have tons of different content on there. If you're wanting to learn about RVs, you're wanting to learn about Freightliner Sport chassis, or anything else, make sure to follow, like, and subscribe, and I'll teach you everything you need to know. I'll see you next time.